All right, so this is my Guyana BCC. She's 21 months and she is roughly 43 inches and one and a half pounds. She's on small rats right now every 14 days. And then starting, I believe, towards the end of next month, she's gonna be boosted up to a small rat every probably 10 to 11 days. And then come winter time, she's going to be completely taken off of food for eight weeks. Last year, she was not ready for fasting just because she was still a little lean. Um, this cage that I got her in is pretty temporary. She's not gonna be in here much longer. I'll back up a little bit so you can see. Uh, this is a four by 20 by 20. <clears throat> and she's getting an eight foot by three foot by three foot. And then the Suriname is getting, I'm sorry, she's getting an eight, eight by three by two. And the Suriname's getting an eight by three by three. So, you know, I kind of just threw the background on there. Um, I'm getting rid of all the glass. Glass is just not good for boas. It doesn't retain humidity very well. It doesn't retain temperatures very well. And the circulation is crap. So uh, I, I've got my husbandry where it needs to be, my temperatures and my humidity. Uh, humidity is around 80%. And I added these small fans, which helps with the circulation but at the end of the day it's just a lot of work and it's just not worth it glass is crap i uh, you know, glass cages are shit for for boas i mean there's really no other way to say it even if you have proper husbandry it's just a pain in the ass so probably my biggest mistake has been using glass cages and i will never use them again uh, once i get these pvc enclosures all set up i will be selling the glass and i will never use them again they are subpar for boas, but she's looking great. She's healthy. She's growing wonderfully. Uh, she's lean and muscular. She's not quite as thick and muscular as the Suriname, but she's caught up quite a bit. Uh, she does eat a little bit more often because she's a little leaner. Her metabolism's a little faster, but she will be fasting with the other ones uh, this year for sure, but it won't be quite as long. The other ones uh, around her age are going to be doing 10 weeks, and she's probably going to do about eight weeks. So if you guys think I deserve it, <clears throat> go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you have any questions, concerns, or if there's something you didn't like, then tell me all about it in the comment section. If you haven't already, I appreciate anyone who subscribes. Um, feel free to share the link to my video. And if you have any questions on food cycling or fasting, I know some people hear what you don't feed them for two or three months, four months. What this was not something I decided on my own. This is something that was told to me initially. Well, I initially read it in Vince, Vincent Russo's book, the complete boa constrictor guide, which every boa owner should have. He suggests food cycling because it's much closer to the type of feeding they would get in the wild. And once you start doing this type of feeding program, you'll realize that you don't need to feed them as much as you were, or as you were before. The most growth I saw out of them last year was when they were not eating at all. That was the most growth. So this was told to me by herpetologists, by zoologists, by my veterinarian who is also a herpetologist. So this isn't something I just pulled out of my butt. It's not something that's dangerous for them. It's something that's very beneficial. So if you guys want to hear more about that, then uh, go ahead and comment on the page and I'd be happy to uh, explain it a little bit more detail for you guys. But everyone stay safe out there and thank you again for the support.